Yo, welcome back to the channel everyone, and in this video, we're gonna be going over the new roadmap for the Black Ops Cold War Season 3 Reloaded update. Now, with all that being said, the like goal on this video has to be 1,000 likes. If we can get 1,000 likes in under 24 hours, that would be absolutely incredible. Also, if you guys want to stay up to date with any and all new updates, best class setups, best settings, tips and tricks, or anything that's going on in Black Ops Cold War multiplayer, Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and also turn on those post notifications so you guys are notified immediately when I upload a new video, specifically videos going over any and all updates. Let me know down in the comment section right now what you guys are most excited for within the Season 3 Reloaded update. Let's check out this roadmap. So you guys can see here, we're going to talk about the bundles and some of the DLC weapons we're getting in multiplayer first. Then we're going to go over the maps and then some of the Warzone additions. So you guys can see here, we're gonna getting a Die Hard Operator Bundle. So literally Die Hard from the movie is coming into Black Ops Cold War, which is honestly pretty awesome. Now we're also getting a Rambo Operator Bundle that's gonna be another kill character from a movie coming into Black Ops Cold War. I think this is gonna be pretty cool too. I'm really curious to see exactly what weapons are gonna be a part of this bundle. Probably some OG weapons that, you know, we all love here in Black Ops Cold War multiplayer, hopefully an AK-47, an MP5, XM4, something like that in these bundles to kind of entice people to pick them up and, you know, go ahead and have a new experience in multiplayer. Now, as you can also see here, we're getting some new weapons. We're getting the baseball bat, which is going to be only in Cold War, which I kind of find kind of funny. I kind of figured they'd probably put this in Warzone as well, but the baseball bat is an exclusive DLC weapon in Cold War multiplayer. We are getting the Amp 63, which is going to be a machine pistol as well, which is going to be similar to the PM 63 from Black Ops 1, which was an SMG. So if you guys played BO1, you guys know exactly how fun the PM 63 submachine gun was. That's coming to Black Ops Cold War, but as a DLC weapon in the pistol category. So I'm really curious to see how this is going to play out. Honestly, I am expecting this to be a very good secondary and possibly the new best secondary in the game, replacing the Kimbo Magnums as well as the Street Trooper Shotgun, but we're going to see about that. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Again, this is going to be a free DLC weapon for everybody to go ahead and have fun and play with. And we're also getting the Ballistic Knife, which honestly, some people have already had access to this weapon. So... I think it's kind of funny how they're going ahead and including this in <laughs> the roadmap because I know for a fact I've gotten killed by the ballistic knife multiple times and technically it's not supposed to be released so it's kind of funny how um, they kind of still have this in the roadmap. I think they probably should just came up with another weapon and released it within this season 3 loaded update because I think everybody has seen the ballistic knife or at least used it once here in multiplayer. Now, as far as the maps going in multiplayer, we are getting the standoff 6v6 maps. I really do hope this is going to be in a 24-7 playlist, or they go ahead and put this in the 12v12 playlist, or, please, Treyarch, bring in the throwback mosh pit where they have all of the BO1 maps, you know, together. Raid, um, standoff, they have uh, Nuketown. Please bring in firing range, maps like that, so we can go ahead, express, so we can go ahead and experience all of the good remakes together, and I think that'd be a great way to introduce standoff into the multiplayer, you know, experience. I'm expecting this map to be fantastic because it played well in Black Ops 2, and typically, the track record, all of the remake maps that they bring in from prior Call of Duties are always playing pretty well, especially on Black Ops Cold War. Now, we also are getting Duga Multi-Team. Um, pretty interesting. This is going to be, I think, I believe a Fire Team Dirty Bomb playlist as well. I don't know really, you know, why they're not bringing in these maps to 6v6 as well. I think they should bring in more 6v6 maps. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think. But I think that would be a great addition to this game if they were just to go ahead and bring in more of these maps and not just kind of regulate them to a mode that I'm not even sure that many people are playing. Uh, as far as the modes, we're getting Die Hard Point. We are getting Rambo's Gun Game as well as Action Hero Mosh Pit. So that's going to be pretty cool. Hopefully this Action Hero Mosh Pit is technically, you know, the throwback Mosh Pit kind of just rewarded. Um, that'd be absolutely amazing if they were to go ahead and do that. So please, Treyarch, go ahead and bring that into the game. 
uh, zombies that have new main quest, new intel, crank two, and a uh, new world event. And for Warzone, we are getting the uh, Nakatome Plaza. It's going to be a new POI, which is actually pretty cool. I'm definitely going to drop in to see exactly how this is going to play out because I do play quite a bit of Warzone. I don't upload it as much, but I do be playing Warzone. So I'm definitely going to see exactly how this plays. Right now, honestly, I think I like the old Verdance more than the new Verdance. It's not that big of a difference, but... I don't know. I just kind of feel like I like the old, the OG Verdance better. Let me know what you guys think about that. Um, I, I hope I'm not the only person. We're also getting um, survival camps as well as the CIA outpost for POIs as well. So that's going to be pretty cool. I love when they bring in new POIs to Wars. I need to keep doing this. Um, awesome. They're bringing in the power grab for a limited time mode as well as the action themed loot table, which they're going to be bringing in the death machine, which is going to be honestly amazing as well as the crossbow into warzone so i'm super happy they're bringing that into the game as well something we definitely need to see and i'm all for new content in warzone as well as multiplayer now as far as additional information about this new update coming within black ops cold war you guys can see here for the rambo bundle it's going to be an operator bundle bringing in a knife an ak-47 as well as an m60 with obviously the operator himself pretty cool let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section i'm really happy they're bringing in weapons that are actually good and putting them in the bundle obviously it was kind of you know, obvious Rambo was going to get an M60, but I'm happy they're giving him an AK-47. I honestly was expecting to be an XM4 or something like that, but hey, I'm all down for this bundle. Definitely going to be copying this because it looks pretty badass. Now, as far as more information, um, standoff here is kind of like the map POI that we're getting for it. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, Right here, again, for there's some new, you know, information about rambo we're getting the crossbow here in warzone and the death machine for warzone here are the update size for ps5 it's going to be a 10.3 gigabyte update ps4 a 7.1 gigabyte xbox series x 13 xbox one 8 and pc it's going to be a 10 gigabyte for black ops cold war and again 14 14 15 15 and 14 for warzone as well so it's not the biggest update size thankfully it's under 20 gigabytes because i know a lot of people who do not have the fast enough internet are going to be spending all night downloading this so happy this is not going to be a all night type of download uh as far as the times goes it's going to be pretty much a you know 9 9 p.m pacific time uh as well as a 12 a.m eastern time so 1 a.m for the central for those of you who are unaware obvious times for you know all these new updates you guys can see here this is going to be kind of the pm 63 or the amp 63 operator bundle it's going to be a white machine pistol which looks pretty cool you guys can see here with the bundle the operator is coming with honestly this looks really neat i'm really happy they're going ahead and kind of bringing in vibrant camos for the dlc weapon definitely something that super super happy about and honestly i cannot wait to get my hands on this because this literally looks like it's going to be one of the best weapons in the entire game um <laughs> i because if it's like the pm63 from black ops 1 we're going to be cooking with this man seriously we are literally going to be cooking with this um right here we get another kind of literature uh multiplayer mode hard point coming this week is die a hard point capturing a hard point will give a movement speed boost to the first five potential buffs um and set timer like to 30 seconds okay so it's pretty much going to be like the cranked mode so it's going to be cranked but hard point style which is honestly really cool let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section um definitely gonna be playing this is going to be a very high action mode so pretty much no camping and hard point this this thing this seems pretty awesome i'm not gonna lie this really does seem pretty badass i cannot wait to get my hands on this mode and uh, we get some more information right now Again, uh, Warzone Power Grab, uh, Circle Collapses will have five stages in no gulag and revive a buy or earn the right by collecting dog tags. Okay, so that's going to be really cool to see, you know, this mode here in Warzone. So let me know what you guys think about all this new information coming to the Black Ops Cold War Season 3 Reloaded update. They are going to be bringing in the patch notes for the weapon buffs, nerfs, all that good stuff at a later date. We're making a video covering all of that information. So if you guys want to stay up to date, make sure you guys absolutely... Drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on those post notifications. 
I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Deuces.